While the rigatoni cook, I'm making this quick little sauce of greens and garbanzo beans. I've got a can of garbanzo beans that I drained, rinsed, and patted dry. And now I'm frying it up in a little bit of olive oil to give them a toasty, nutty flavor. I'm gonna add two peeled and smashed garlic cloves. I'm not even gonna chop them. Make this really easy on myself. Just kinda wanna infuse the olive oil and the garbanzo beans with a little bit of garlic flavor. And when you have friends coming over and they kinda tell you last minute, you've gotta use what you've got in your pantry. So I always make sure and have some flavorings and things like garlic and red uh, pepper flakes to really add a lot of flavor to food at the last minute. So we're gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Not a lot, but a little bit of spice is really yummy when you're making a pasta that's vegetarian. Then we're gonna add Swiss chard, which is our green, and some capers. Another thing I've always got in my pantry, that briny, salty sort of uh, bite is really, really good. So I've got some Swiss chard leaves and I like Swiss chard, and so I always have it in my fridge because I like to saute it, I like to put it in salads, I like to braise it. But you could also use any kind of green that you have in the fridge. So you just chop up the Swiss chard. We're gonna add the Swiss chard right on top of the garbanzo and the capers. And I think that's sort of the ticket to making a quick meal when you have friends coming over. You don't need to be nervous about it, you just need to be able to have a well-stocked pantry. Pasta, different shapes, always have it. A little bit of salt, a little bit more red pepper flakes, and now it'll just wilt down. Let's take a look at our pasta. So I found little mezzi rigatoni here. They take a rigatoni and they cut it in half. And you see how little, they're like little tubes. Mm. Almost there. While the pasta cooks, I make a really quick sauce. First thing I wanna do is grab a little bit of pasta water. I'm gonna add it to the sauce. And you wanna add the pasta water because it creates a sauce. Because we're not gonna add tomato sauce, so this is the sauce. And the starch in the pasta is really what creates this velvety sauce. And then we just go right like this. Turn that off. Now, remember, what I love to do is you grate the cheese on top of the pasta before you toss it so that the cheese sticks to the pasta and then everything else, the sauce, will stick to the pasta. So the cheese is sort of the glue. I always do it this way first. This is the way my grandfather taught me to do it. This is the way they do it in Naples. So this is the way I do it. So I grab a lemon. I'm gonna use the same grater I used for the cheese and just zest a lemon. The lemons really brightens the pasta up. Look at that. A little bit of olive oil for a little fruitiness right at the end. Mm -mm -mm. 